Hello and welcome to another installment of Comparative Reasoning. I'm your host, Cedric Kennedy, and today we're going to talk about how protesters need to fight back. Now, if you've listened to me for quite some time, you'll know that I've warned that if things keep escalating from the police, that protesters are going to fight back physically. You know, whether it's hands or guns, they're going to fight back. People get tired of getting beat down. And you've also known that I didn't want that, although that would definitely get a change. I didn't want that because I know what it's going to lead to. Because the egos of the police, they can't help but to, to, to cause death and mayhem to make sure that they are seen as in charge. So much in charge that they bully the mayors. Now, when protesters began fighting back, what happened? Trump couldn't take it. So he sent in the military, but that Republicans was like, no, that is going to be bad. Trump says, okay, secret police, secret police could be, I mean, yeah, federal. Yeah, but it could be some Yahoo off the street dressed in like minded, well, likewise uniform and causing whatever havoc that they want. We've seen the secret police just beat on people that's doing nothing. Like a vet that goes up and says, hey, you know you shouldn't be doing this. And they beat on him, broke his hand in two places. Okay? So, I haven't said anything. Now, I'm not going to be like all these other, you know, independent media places and just get quiet and not call out any, you know, uh, controversies, self-controversies or uh, idiosyncrasies or anything like that that I've had. No, I'm going to call it out. Seriously, I want a fight back, but I don't want it to end in protest or bloodshed. So I didn't know what to do or what to say. I went on my own little hiatus on that rhetoric for a while because I'm like, there's got to be something. I don't know what, but there's got to be a way to do this to reduce harm, but open the eyes, open the ears, put in the proper discourse, get the the, the 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 woke mind going get the public to see what's going on get those out on the streets to truly understand what's going on and most importantly how everyone can chip in to do this battle right that's the hardest thing and i will not and i don't want you to turn away from this just because i'm going to say this line I will not have every single answer. I may not have every proper answer, but I am going to give you something, something that you can use, something that others can use that most likely won't get you killed, but yet will get you results. Okay. Now I listen to multiple things. Okay. Yeah. There's young Turks, secular talk. You hear me rail against them because they are aggravating as they want your money but they won't give you any help you're giving them your money demand that they give you solutions demand that they tell you who to vote for that is progressive okay that's not establishment that's anti-establishment that is progressive that is for people that places people over money you know demand it you give them your time, your energy, your money. At least make them give you something you can use. That's what I'm saying for that. Okay, so let's get into this. I listened to Bo the Fifth Column. And yeah, people want him out on the streets to say, look, you need to tell start cracking some heads. Let me tell y'all something. Fighting back on the streets, let me tell you how to do that effectively. Without being the aggressor. To physically fight back. Without being the aggressor. There are very few people on the streets doing it. You gotta stop being afraid. You gotta stop being that scared forest animal running in circles. You gotta stop that mindset. When it's fight or flight. You need to turn off the flight. A tactical retreat is what's needed. And that is not being witty. That's not a rib. That's not jawing. That's not picking on it. Nothing. No, this is what a tactical retreat is. The people out there, these cops, these military people, they are using tear gas. 
why don't you? No, I'm not saying develop it at home. I'm not saying buy it. No, when they shoot that tear gas and it settles, pick it up and throw it back. You go to this protest with gloves on. You pick that tear gas up and you launch it back at them. Hoist, hoist it by their own petard. You throw it back. Throw it back. They got pepper spray. You can get pepper spray. Shoot it back. Now, yeah, you can buy that. They got pepper spray. Use what they use. Use it. They're going to wear thicker clothing. I know it's hot. Man, I know it's hot. You ain't got to do this. There's some people that once they start overheating, that's it. Pass out, unconscious, near death. We don't need that. I don't want that. Wear heavier clothing if you can. You know, thicker clothing if you can. A very loose, very loose, like, cotton sweater or something like that. Something that's two or three sizes too big. Something that the arms are stretched out where airflow can get. You know? Something like that. Go outside. If y'all have a, a, a wall outlet out there and a big enough, you know, like a, a series of fans, you can use that to blow the tear gas away from you. The fumes of pepper spray that mist, but it can get into your eyes, it can blow that away if you stand near it or behind it. Use it properly. There are lots of things you can do because protesters seem to stand their ground until the tear gas and pepper spray. Use that against the police and the military. Throw it back. There's that one kid that did that uh, that low angle spin kick and, you know, like soccer and kicked the tear gas back. There's one using uh, hockey sticks, you know, and like a hockey puck kicking, knocking it right back. There are those that pick it up when they shoot them into the crowd on those hills. They pick them up and throw them back down at the police. They threw the tear gas back. And the police started to scatter because they knew what was up. You can do that. These are solutions. You are not the aggressor. You are the defender. That's what you can do. And if you find fault in what I'm saying, let me know. I have no problem changing my rhetoric to make things better. I want to get the right message out there. I want to say the right things to help this situation. Not end, but end in our favor so that we have a voice. That our say at the table is a say at the table and not just a saying at a table. That's what I want. I would love this stuff. Honestly, truthfully, capitalism is an idea. And it can be changed via idea. But people need something tangible that they can put into place. That's what they need. Something they can see. Now, on Pro Social Pessimist channel, he and I have been going kind of back and forth, you know, addressing this, you know, in, in uh, the comment section. So, so I can keep on going with this. You know, you can check out Pro Social Pessimist and check out his latest video and see how he and I have been conversing back and forth. We acknowledge what the problem is, how it is, but now we're at the state of what in the world can we do to cause change? That's what we're trying to figure out. Change is needed. It's not something that's inevitable. It's something that is needed. Okay? So, now, you've also got, along with these protests, you, this, is, this is the hard part for me. Because I hate bullies. I do. But how do you defensively show your offense without doing anything at all. Bo the fifth column, he said, and this is true, he said, you need to be an anvil. The hammers and anvils. A hammers always break. Anvils don't be the anvil. And that's true. It takes a, I can't even, t I don't think an anvil has ever been broken by just hammering it. You know, just the hammer that's supposed to go with it, just hammering it. You know, swords, hammers, knives, all kinds of weapons and, and blades and whatnot have been made on anvils. Molten steel has been forged and shaped into so many tools. Anvils don't give. And they're not fighting back. So that's why it says be the anvil. So listen. You're out there. This is going to be hard. But you can spread this message. I think this is viable. When you are out there, you're protesting, and you spread it to all the other protesters, please, if you're a protester and you ask, ask, happen to hear this, spread this to the other protesters. What, you need, what I think is needed, 
what I think, I ain't saying what is, but what I think is needed is when the when you're out there, you're shouting, you got your sign, you've got whatever you got, and you're shouting at the cops, and the cops is like, that's it, we're coming over to you. Drop your sign, put your hands up, turn around 180, put your backs to the cop, put your hands down behind your back, cross your wrist, cross your wrist, submission, you're complying, no weapons, nothing. You are there. They cuff you, take you away. They have already at that point, and just hear me out, please. They have already at that point violated everything about you. You have given the surrender. You have shown that you are not going to be a threat and you will comply with their want, but not a law. They've already violated your constitution. They've already violated your civil rights. They've already violated any and everything about it socially, uh, uh, lawfully, by any means federally. It's, they've already violated everything. Okay? If they also choose to grab you and throw you to the ground like that, yes, put your hands in front and protect your face and, and in case you might fall on something, protect what you can. But once you hit that ground, hands flat behind your back. Don't say anything. Don't verbally protest. Say nothing. You know you're being detained. You know that you're going to probably be arrested. Okay? Just deal with it. Take that. Because that's not a loss. That's a win. Because now they have abused their authority further. Now they have caused... They have, that is a physical attack. An unjust physical attack. Every single one of you that this happens to, where you offer no resistance, you can sue the state or the county or that department. You can sue. You can get money. You have, if every single person out there is wrong and they're going to sue and take it to court and it's going to happen, you get the power of that money on your side. You get compensated for the hole placed in you. You have been made unwhole. You are feeling hurt. You are feeling powerless. You are feeling helpless. You are afraid. But you got to do what's right for the people. Therefore, these cops have harmed you and hurt you from being, well, a model citizen for society. As they were not. You can sue for that and so much more. You hit those pockets. You drain the department. You drain the state. You drain them of the money by every means possible. And if they could say it was entrapment of what you were doing, you can legitimately say, yes, it was because I knew you would not hesitate to hurt me. You made the choice to come over and hurt me. You made that choice. It's just as much entrapment as a road that has a 45 mile an hour sign where you go 45 and then behind the bushes is a 35 mile an hour sign just 15 seconds down the road and then the cops is right there waiting at it. It is no different of entrapment. You can do this. For someone like me that's naturally combative against bullies and things like that, yeah, that would be hard. But truthfully, the, hearing myself, honestly, I would take that and be like, I just won. I'm the type of person that would, I couldn't wait for the cops to come over there and I'm going to turn around, my head behind my back, and just deal with it. They can cuff me, take me in, and I know I'm, 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 I just need a lawyer because the lawyers are going to be lining up for this. They're going to be lining up and they can't wait. They can't wait. A decent public defender will definitely want to be on your side. You don't need to go on. Now, there are some people. You don't need to go on the offense. But there are people out there. They are marching with their guns and whatnot. And I am not talking about the racists. I am talking about decent-minded, well-enough-adjusted people that literally want an end to the abuse. That's what... The, the whole protest is about stop abuse it, 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 and, and just think when this all started okay when all of this started what was it about it was about George Floyd initially but it wasn't really about him at all 
He was just the icing on that cake. He is what I talked about for over a year beforehand, saying, who is going to be that one person to get beat up or killed by the cops that's going to send this into overdrive and start a national protest, or at least protest in that area? That's what that's about. Now, we've got lots of women of color who have been abused, and they don't get mentioned. I get that. I understand that. And there's a lot of extreme feminists that don't give a damn about this protest. They don't give a damn about the guys that's been mentioned because the girls have been so undermined. But let me tell you something. This is very clear. You want the abuse of women to stop? Stop worrying about who gets mentioned and who don't. Worry about this thing as a whole, ending the abuse as a whole. That's what this is. Come together. Stop being divided. It's not man versus woman. It's not woman versus man. If that's the case, then we should only be out there only if someone gets hurt. And when that day is over, no one goes back out and wait for who it is. And only the women go out when women get hurt. And only the men go out when men get hurt. Do you see how weird, convoluted, and dumb that would be? So therefore, that's not a great idea. Therefore, what needs to happen is, in general, as a whole, get all the abuse to stop. Because while you complain that women are not getting the limelight for being abused, you're also shedding a light on the fact that kids don't get anything. Kids have been hung in parks. Kids have been hurt and killed in their homes or their so-called friends' homes. Kids have been murdered, raped, and all of this stuff. They're not getting the the light that they deserve. So then you got another group. No, this is abuse 100% across the board, every means necessary. And it needs to end and it can't end until we legitimately come together it is legitimately the you this is right now as we speak is the united states versus the confederacy that's what's happening and it's in little pockets all over the place the confederacy they are together they are usually silent and they are volatile and they are protected by not just the police the military police, the secret police, and the government. Literally, the government ain't nothing but a confederacy in charge of the union. You can challenge me on that, but it's true. That is heavily objective. That is true. That is a fact. Now, you want to bring it together, what you need to do, kill that noise, I get it. There's a lot of women that get hurt. But the reason you don't see that, the reason there's nobody out there for these women like you think, is because there's no recordings of women getting shot, a knee to their neck and stuff, because the cops know damn well that will speed things up. Women are coveted and protected. No matter how foolishly they are abused and whatnot, domestically and all that, It is still on the lips of everyone. You do not harm a female. The female is right. It's still there. Like I've said in previous videos, the woman is right until. That's it. And we're all on the same level. The man is right until. First complaint, first victory is usually how it goes on the social scale. We are down here in the gutter together. The cops are just above the gutter on the streets protecting those streets so that those down here in the gutter that can't come up and attack and, 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 and fight back and forcibly take over the government that those, these cops and stuff protect. So while we're down here in the gutter split up and fighting each other, they are on the surface waiting chilling and now we're coming out the gutter because they didn't kill one too many and now they're fighting back and they're a unit and they've got their toys use their toys against them they shoot all this stuff at you you know what throw it back at them get your gloves on wear your mask have some goggles if you can throw that stuff back throw it back don't sit there and be like oh no it's tear gas let me run around no i'm scared no 
pick it up, throw it back. It ain't hot. It ain't hot. Throw it back. And if it is hot, you know what happened to make you throw it faster. Don't run. Hold your ground. A tactical retreat is throwing this stuff back. And if you got to walk back, walk back, fine. But that tactical retreat of putting your hands behind your back and just surrendering, it lets everyone know who is at fault. That's it. That's it. The police are wrecking shot, running rough shot, and doing everything that they can to hurt anyone and everyone at their whim. To protect the government. To protect capitalism. Because that, in truth, is what's being protected. This whole thing is it, it, it's gone from just pure Black Lives Matter to capitalism matters. This is about how it's going now. The government is rolling deep. And, we're, and we need to stay on the surface. See what's there. Take the fresh air. And don't get blinded. Get out the fog. See what's going on for real. That's what's needed. All of these, all these things can happen. They can come to fruition. You just got to fight back. And that's by just absolute surrender when the cops come after you. But if the cops coming after you with those sticks in hand ready, run. Don't stand there and be like, what are you doing? We're peacefully protesting. Have some survival instincts. Okay? Run. Run. Get away. Run. And if you want, I don't see a problem with this. Y'all let me know how you feel about this one. If y'all at home make some makeshift shields out of trash cans or cardboard reinforced with something. I don't know, you got shields. Put them up. Use them. The cops come after you, wailing at you, put them up, block, crouch down, block, protect your head, protect your arms, protect everything. You can push the cops back. Y'all in the line together with your shields, push them back. And you can make a check. Stop abusing us. Stop abusing us. Stop abusing us. That should be one of the chants. Push back. Don't hit. Don't hit, don't kick, don't punch. You got your shields, put them up. That's what the shield is for, to protect. You don't swing it. You just hold steady, push back. Stop abusing us. You can do that. That is possible. You know, let me know how you feel about that. That one just popped in my head and I'm just wondering how it is. Okay? But I want to give y'all some kind of solutions. Something that's going to help you. That's what I want. I want not this to end. Hear me now. I don't want this to simply end. I want this to end positively for us. Not the police. Not the government that they protect. I want them to stop their abuse. And they can't do that because they are already crazed. They've got the power. They they got the money. They got what they want. And now they get to go out and play super cop and beat your heads in. Def- just deflect that. If you got shields, put them up. Have a unit. A shield of moms is nice, but a shield of moms with no shields, that's that's just fish in the barrel. I think it's possible to get change. You wanna and you say this about capitalism, I guess I'll do that in another one. But I need I wanted to say this. If you got any questions, if you got any comments, any complaints or anything, let me know. Let me know. I'm not catering to anyone or anything, but I will cater to reason, to rationality. I want you to get what you need. Equality for all. I want you to get a zero abusive system. I want you to get forward thinking ideas. You know, I I, I want better because it's not just you, it's me, it's everyone. You all, if you're a protester hearing this or you plan to go out and protest, that, that is the front line. That is the front line. That is the front line. Everything else is a choice. This is a necessity. I'm only a little envious that I can't be out there because I would love to be a part of making change the proper way. But all I can do is sit here and talk. And try to do this on days where I'm not sick. 
That's all I can do. And so I want to give the best information or the best suggestions possible. You know, let me know how y'all feel about this. I'm with y'all, protesters. I'm with you. And yes, you can put protesters as an E or an O. I don't know. I, I chose the E. But in any case, this has been Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.